Hey, welcome to my channel. This video is for Ostara. I will be doing a pick a card tarot reading to receive a message from our familiar, the animal that we have a connection with for this time of year, for Ostara. To see what they have to say about the spring season, what advice they may have for us, or just a message that they have for us something they want us to know for spring. Ostara is celebrated around March 19th to March 23rd in that area, and that is also when the first day of spring occurs and the spring equinox. It is the final planting season. The vibe is new beginnings, fresh starts, fresh ideas, creativity, fertility, abundance, overflow, rebirth, and balance. What we are celebrating is the return of spring, the return of sun. We're saying goodbye to the darkness, goodbye to winter, and hello to the light. During this time of year, daylight and darkness is equal. There is equal daylight and night. It's a time when things feel new and fresh. It's a time to celebrate new beginnings. This feels more like a start, the start of a year than January does. During this time, think about what you want to manifest over spring and summer and what you want to bring in to winter. Who do you want to be next winter? It's a time to set intentions, big intentions, dream big. It's a time to start to take action. As I mentioned, it is the final planting season, which means that this is when we are planting our manifestation seeds, what we want to grow over spring and summer, what we want to manifest over spring and summer. During this time, also think about how you can create more balance in your life, balance between work, play, rest. It's also a time to connect to earth, do some grounding work, connect to nature, notice new life and new growth, notice the trees getting leaves, plants beginning to grow and sprout. The birds are acting different, animals act different, they're mating, they're having babies, all the things that come with spring. It's really a time to appreciate rain. Rain helps us grow, helps the earth grow and stay healthy. Appreciate rain, work with water, take a walk in the rain, dance in the rain. March 20th is also the first day of spring. Spring also brings a new growth. Spring helps us feel excited and energized, ready for the coming months. There's an anticipation and excitement in the air. We may start dreaming about summer plans and possibilities, opportunities that we want, experiences that we want. During spring, it's a time to start new projects, get creative, and explore the possibilities and opportunities that are available to you. Spring can also bring healing. It can help us become more balanced. Spring is energizing. You will most likely feel full of hope and light, optimism, and feel the potential to grow and expand. During spring, be playful and start to take action. Make movement towards turning your manifestations into reality. Over winter, you most likely have thought about what you want to happen over this year, thought about your manifestations, and now it's time to turn those thoughts into action. And look for inspiration. Make changes in your life if you've been thinking about making changes. Spring is the great time to jump right into those changes set those changes in motion and find joy in spring. Be playful. Take some risks. Try new things. Spring is a great time to work on your breathwork practice, to remember to be flexible, to make time to work on creative projects. Just let yourself play and be creative, explore. It can also be a time to confront any shadows, any old patterns, negative beliefs, anything that is preventing you from taking action or taking the next steps that you know you need to take to turn your manifestations into reality. And it's also, if you're not yet clear on what you want to manifest or how you want to feel, spring is the time to get that clarity and to evaluate where you want to go. During spring in Ostara, the animals to connect to that can help you with the energy of Ostara and spring, help you embody the qualities and take the action that is necessary for this time of year, those animals would be woodpeckers, deer, rabbits, 
frogs, bees, groundhogs, and robins. And of course, whatever animal you feel drawn to work with. Trust your intuition. So now that we have a better understanding of Astara and spring, if you want some more insight during this time of year, I do have some other videos and some meditations that can help you work with the energy of Astara and give some more insight into rituals or traditions for this time of year. So check those videos out. But I'm going to be doing a tarot reading. This reading will just be a general reading for anyone who's listening. Trust that this message is for you. It's a message from our familiars, the animals that we have a connection to as a collective, as a group. It doesn't matter when you're watching this. The fact that you're watching it means that this message is meant for you and is a message from your animal. I'm going to be using the Dragon Companions tarot deck. So I'm going to shuffle the cards, take a deep breath, and just be ready to receive with clarity this message. So what message, what advice does our animal, our familiar have for us for spring, for Ostara? I'm going to be pulling five cards. The first card is the Ace of Swords. This card represents new possibilities and opportunities that are coming our way. The affirmation in the guidebook for this deck is, I have the ability to objectively see the truth and gain clarity. So this spring, our animal wants us to know that we are really going to have clarity on where we want our life to go. If we feel that we're not sure which path to take or what we want to bring into our life, if we're questioning if this is the right decision for us or if we should make some changes, this spring we are really going to get clear on what we want, how we want to feel, who we want to be, what we want our life to look like, and we're going to know the first steps necessary to get there. We may not know how we're going to get there, all the steps, but we'll take it one step at a time and we will be clear on what that first step is. Even if it's something really small that doesn't even really feel connected to our big goal, what we're trying to manifest, we will be clear on what that step is and we will trust that it's going to take us where we want to go. This card, the Ace of Swords, is really about making a decision and making a choice and being honest with ourselves, using logic instead of our emotions. So we're kind of removing our emotions from the decision making right now and doing so will help us release the fear and the self-doubt, all those limiting thoughts that make us feel scared or uncomfortable bring up those emotions that may prevent us from taking action, we're able to not pay attention to those emotions and we're able to move forward with trust, with clarity, with a clear mind and make decisions and choices and choose opportunities that are right for us. So I feel like our animal is letting us know that we already have clarity. We know what we want to manifest. We know who we want to be and where we want to go. And now we really need to get clear on the first step to get us there. And this spring is bringing us that clarity so we can see a path forward. We can see a way out. We can see how we can make changes Maybe we've been trying to make some changes and everything we do doesn't seem to work. We've been trying to reach this goal or this outcome and we've been putting in the work but nothing's really been changing. This spring will help us see the changes and all the work that we've done will help us see the new opportunities that is finally available to us that we've been working towards. And it's going to help us see a clearer path, a clearer way to get there. We won't feel like we're just trying anything and everything. Instead, we'll feel that we're doing the right thing at the right time in the right way to get us where we want to go. We're able to choose the opportunities that are going to take us where we want to go. And we're also being honest with ourselves. We're also really being honest with what we want to do, with what's authentic to us, to our values and our beliefs. Instead of thinking what others want us to do or what we think we should do, what society wants us to do, or our family or our friends, or just having full trust and faith that we know what's best for us and we can have our desires, we can have our manifestations. We're really just being honest with ourselves and honest with the people around us. The next card represents what your familiar wants to experience this spring. 
back card is the hermit which is really interesting because i don't really associate the hermit with spring energy i feel like the hermit is more winter energy it's turning inward it's focusing on your internal world which is very winter so i feel like our animals they're not feeling that energized and motivated excited spring energy right away maybe this winter is going to feel a little longer and it's going to take us a little bit to get into that spring take action optimistic motivated inspired energy which is okay our animal wants us to remember to pay attention to ourselves, pay attention to our emotions, pay attention to our internal dialogue, pay attention to what's going on within us, pay attention to our body and how we're feeling, how our body's feeling, listen to the clues that our body is giving us feeling into maybe where our body feels uncomfortable or sore or tight where you're holding tension in your body and really making sure that we enter spring and summer in a way that we have full clarity and full honesty with ourselves so tying the two cards together when we stay in that hermit mode a little more we can gain that clarity that spring is promising us the affirmation for the hermit in the guidebook is I take the time to enjoy solitude and introspection. So our animal really wants us to slowly ease into spring and not feel that right away with the star our life has to change and we have to take action be motivated and get going and quick 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 to slowly work ourselves out of winter to slowly wake up from our hibernation and slowly take action. This isn't a race we can stay in tune with ourselves and move at a pace that feels really good to us there's no rush our animals don't want to feel this rush hectic kind of energy that sometimes spring can bring so again remember to find balance and to be mindful of always checking in with yourself and checking in with your animal as well as i always mention animals are our mirrors they're reflecting back to us through their behaviors our emotions and our internal unconscious thought patterns emotions beliefs so really check in with yourself check in with your animal throughout spring the third card is the eight of wands this is really funny because the eight of wands is complete opposite energy from the hermit the eight of wands is quick and fast and movement and changes things happening it is a little bit of that frantic energy but coming from a place that is secure this card represents what you need to release to make space for new growth. So spring is about starting that new growth. Our seeds are slowly starting to grow. They're not yet grown or matured. It's just the very beginning. And when we bring in something new, we need to release something. We need to make room so we can bring in that new fresh energy, that new fresh manifestation. So we need to release something. This card, the Eight of Wands, represents what we need to release. And our animal is suggesting that we release that frantic energy, which really makes sense why they want us to embrace the hermit energy. So they don't want us to step into spring with this need this drive this feeling like you're running out of time that you need to get it all done as quick as possible and feeling that spring's too short you won't get to do everything that you want to do just trusting that you'll get done what you need to get done and everything is happening at the perfect time in the perfect way the eight of wands also reminds us that there is movement there is flow there is change happening it's here it's happening we don't need to push we don't need to feel frantic we don't need to chase or try to make things happen quicker than they are ready to happen it is happening it is happening and to remain grounded remain introspective while it is happening stay present you don't need to be thinking about the next step just stay present in the current step and the next step will unfold naturally the next card is the four of cups this card represents what manifestations our animal see us currently manifesting what are we currently creating what are we currently receiving the four of cups is a very meditative card it reminds me of the hermit energy it is slow, it is calm, it is relaxed, and it's also a little introspective. It's a positive card. It's noticing the good things around you, feeling the good emotions, being present in the moment. 
It's another card about turning within, just like the Hermit. It's also a card about finding balance, which spring is a season that helps us find balance. Finding, finding balance between rest and taking action, between play and work. What our animal sees us receiving, manifesting during this time is presence. Being able to be present in the moment, being able to notice and be grateful for what you have right now in the moment. Enjoying life in the present, not worrying about the past or the future, but being here in the now and having fun and loving the here, the now. It's really great to look to the future and make goals and take steps towards those goals and think about manifestations and where you want to be, where you want to be headed, but you'll never get there if in the present you're not happy. If in the present you're not loving life. You need to love life here in the present before those manifestations can come to you. So this spring is really helping us love life here now. So in the summer or later on in the spring, we can receive those manifestations. It's about being grateful with what you have here now while at the same time holding those dreams of the future. Take some time this spring to be mindful in the present moment, whether that's playing with your dog or your cat, taking your dog on a walk, be really present. Notice the smells and the sights and the sounds of that present moment. Spend some time playing with your animal and just be present. Only think about the two of you here now playing playing with our animals or cuddling with our animals, doing activities with our animals in the present moment is really important in growing our bond, our communication with each other, helping you read and understand your animal and getting close to them on a very different level than when you're not in the present with them. And this is something really important to do this spring. Our animal wants us to do it and it's going to help us bring our manifestations quicker and easier. And what can go wrong with just finding joy, love in the moment, gratitude in the moment. It can only make your day better. The last and final card is the star. This is a really nice card. It's about letting ourselves shine and loving who we are and letting the world see who we are, being the star of our life. This card represents what action we should take. Where should we spend our time and energy? So with the star, our animal suggests that we spend our time and energy letting ourselves be who we are, letting ourselves be authentic, letting ourselves be seen, letting ourselves be heard, letting the world see who we really are, speaking our truth, letting others hear our truth, and also celebrating yourself for who you are, loving yourself and trusting yourself. So how can you show yourself a little more love? How can you love yourself more? The affirmation for this card is, I trust in myself and believe that I can achieve success. So our action step, what we should focus on is whatever is going to help us trust ourselves. whatever is going to show ourselves that we love ourselves. whether that's spending more time on self-care or doing something that brings us joy more often. What can you do to show yourself that you believe in yourself and that you trust yourself, that you believe in your desires, you believe that you can do it? that you can have it and that it's possible for you, that you are capable, that you are powerful. Embrace that energy. How can you cultivate that energy within you? How can you make that energy, those beliefs, really easily accessible to you? Whether that's through doing shadow work and releasing limiting beliefs or anything that's blocking you from feeling and believing that about yourself, or whether that's taking risks on yourself, gambling on yourself, if that's through enrolling in a course or investing money or taking a risk that you've been thinking about but if you're not sure you're ready yet or you're capable, believe in yourself, gamble in yourself, trust in yourself, prove to yourself that you can do it and you are capable. Spring is a time to take risks so if you feel that risk is going to prove to you that you are capable, then do it and it's something that you've been thinking about, then do it. Do whatever you can do that will help you fully trust and believe in yourself. 
stay calm and have faith that you will achieve your desires and your dreams. If it doesn't happen this spring, this summer, it's going to happen next spring, next summer, next winter. Believe that it's going to happen for you at the perfect time in the perfect way. Trust that all you need to do is act in alignment, stay true to yourself, your authentic self, and let yourself receive, let it come to you. Always be the best version of yourself that you can be at the time and trust that you are enough. You are doing enough, you have enough, you are enough right here, right now, and it's all coming, it's all happening. Let yourself be seen, let yourself share your gifts and your talents. Shine bright, be the bright star that you are. So take action to help you believe that about yourself on a regular basis. Tune into, step into that energy of, yes, I'm capable. I am the best at what I can do. Believe that it's meant for you. Believe that your desires are meant for you. So I hope that message was helpful for you and your animal and you're able to bring those qualities into your life and take those action steps necessary and you have a really great spring season and Ostara let me know in the comments what you are doing to celebrate this time of year if you have any plans for Ostara I will be doing a vlog style video about how I celebrated Ostara what I actually do is I don't jam pack everything into the one day I let myself have a week or two weeks to celebrate Ostara so when you look up like things that you can do there's so many things and it can feel really overwhelming there's so many rituals and traditions and activities that you can do so many spells and just fun things that seem really exciting and it can be very overwhelming which can prevent you from doing anything at all I know I've been there I've done that and it can also feel like there's a lot of pressure like you need to take the day off and just get everything done but you can give yourself a month even you can give yourself all of the spring season to do Ostara type activities because it really is celebrating spring and sunlight and that fresh new energy so keep an eye out for that video if you're interested to see what I get up to but I'd love to know in the comments what your plans are and please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video Pets are more than just animals. They are spiritual beings with unique personalities and energies. Do you love your dog and want to live in harmony with your dog while understanding their needs and emotions? Instead of feeling frustrated or overwhelmed by your dog's behavior, improve your relationship with your dog and help them heal from any physical, mental, or emotional issues. I offer a unique combination of positive reinforcement training methods with energy healing techniques, animal communication, and tarot. Receive a personalized action plan created by a certified dog trainer and animal communicator. This package is perfect for anyone who wants to enhance and enchant their life with their dog. Don't miss this opportunity to get this amazing package. Apply now and get ready to create a magical relationship with your dog.